My straw reaches across the room and starts to drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. What's up guys, Danielle here, NeutralSupport.net. So in my previous video about JIS screwdrivers, we talked about the Park Tool DSD2 and basically determined that Park Tool made a great handle. The screwdriver itself is too long and I made that very clear and I've actually talked to Park Tool about it. I just think that this is too long. And rather than just use all of the other screwdrivers that I already bought that are JIS compatible, I thought, well, I really do like this handle and there's gotta be a way to shorten this and have it be a better screwdriver overall for what I use it for. Maybe some people like how long it is, but I think that it could be shorter. So today we're gonna do just that. Let's go. So the great thing about these screwdrivers being the handle, it's actually really easy to get off, usually. So if you take these little rubber bands off, it actually reveals the Allen head that you need to take off. There's a little grub screw underneath the rubber bands. So there's a grub screw right here on this side and there's a grub screw on the opposite side. So those are tightening against each other onto flats so that the actual screwdriver isn't loose. And that's how the handle's held on. So in a perfect world, we just remove those and the handle comes right off. And then you have your two grub screws, handle slides off, and you're left with the screwdriver. So you might've noticed, wait a minute, this is the flathead screwdriver. And that's because when I tried to do this to my DSD2, one of the grub screws was actually completely stuck in here. So I had to end up taking it out with a drill. In the future, I might tap this, but since I have this other flathead, the DSD4 that I just don't use, for now I'm just gonna take this handle off of here and use the actual screwdriver portion of the other one with this handle and screw everything up. So now what we're left with, besides this little nick that I made accidentally when I was taking that screw out, you can see that the shaft has two flats. So it has a flat up top and a flat down here. So if we line this up, if we make this the first flat, so we make this the end, we shorten it up to right here. That would be about there. That would bring the total length of this screwdriver to a much more reasonable length in my opinion. So we'll cut it right at this flat, make a second flat down here, stick it in, tighten the bolts. Easy, right? So you can see with that cut, I was a little bit conservative so that I didn't get too close to the edge here. So I'm gonna use the bench grinder to take the rest of that material off. And then we're gonna use the other screwdriver as a template for where the second flat needs to be. So now what we can do is use the grinder to take the excess material off the top and then use the grinder to put a little bit of a flat in right here for the grub screw. So this knurling is actually a little bit raised, so we're gonna have to actually smooth that out too so that it will fit into the tool. So now we can see that we have our shortened screwdriver shaft here. It's not super beautiful on the inside, but all of that will actually be hidden once it's in the handle. So I don't have a way to make this a perfect right angle, so I just put a little scoop here for the second screw. Uh, the other set screw will go in the old reused port. So now I just have to put it in the handle. So you'll notice there's one on each side. So you just have to line up the flat with the side that you're putting it in. So insert the handle there. Voila. The blue and gray was the crosshead before, so we'll put the blue and gray rubber bands on there. Now you got a cute one. Oh, one more step.
There we go. So there's the shortened DSD2 so that this is a screwdriver that is a normal length, in my opinion, more comparable to anything else that you find in the market, easier to get to so you're not feeling like you're way far away. So if we look at the length comparisons, here, I'll stick this. So we went from this long to this long. We did lose the knurling, but I never really understood the purpose of the knurling right here other than to say that the screwdriver was too long. So you end up putting your hand here to use it instead. So now I have this one. That makes a lot more sense. Super easy to do, especially if you don't have the problem that I had with a, one of the grub screws being damaged before you even started. So you can't get the handle off. You can just take the handle off, cut it, put a slot in it, stick it back in, tighten the grub screws, and you'll have a manageably sized tool. Awesome. Just a quick note, with this damaged handle, it's not necessarily permanently ruined. I just need to tap this hole so that I can put in a different grub screw and then I can put it back together. Um, just for the sake of it being easier for now, I just use the other handle and it's a prettier handle because this one's kind of beat up from me using the screwdriver. But basically just tap this hole, put another screw in and put it back together and then I can put it back on this one so that it has the correct symbol on it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully that gives you some confidence. If you don't like a tool, but there's a way that you could change it pretty easily, then maybe just do it. The way that we work with tools is so personal that sometimes it's just better to modify a tool rather than try to buy something that fits perfectly into what you need. If you modify it and it works better, that's great. Also, it's fun. You get to use other tools to modify tools. It's like a win-win all around and maybe just a little bit of fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can subscribe to the channel for more. You can like this video. You can comment below if you think I ruined it and you really think that the length of this screwdriver was perfect and you love standing across the room to adjust derailers. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Head over to neutralsupport.net. We've got cool swag, t-shirts, hats, memberships, aprons, whatever you want. It's all the stuff that helps me buy more screwdrivers when I cut them wrong the first time. Hope you guys have a good day.